Good morning. This is a season of Thanksgiving as we enter into November, and we just want to take a few minutes to just give some thanks and some praise. Before we do that, if there are any veterans that are in the sanctuary at this time, we'd love for you to stand. Veterans Day is going to be coming up this week. Do we have any veterans? Awesome. Thank you so much. And we had about 10 in the first service also, so we have a lot of veterans represented, so we're very grateful for you. We also want to give thanks for our children and our youth ministries. You get to see the kids on Sunday mornings, but you don't always get to see the youth or the children, and so we're asking for you to continue to pray for those ministries, and if you ever want to get involved in any way, let us know. There's so much that goes on behind the scenes with the youth and the children, and we have so many of them. And so we're just thankful and we covet your prayers for that. Today we want to give thanks for our missions, our church, and for God's provisions. This past Thursday we had the Samaritan Soup Bowl. We want to give a really big thank you to Audrey Sexton and the Missions Committee, all of the volunteers that helped make that happen. I was up setting for youth early and it was just amazing to see everybody just working and making that place look beautiful. Thank you to Claude also for making the soups, all the people who worked in the kitchen, set up, and for all the donations. It was a really amazing event. Um, Yesterday, here at the church, the Gifford Youth Orchestra was here doing a performance, and we're so grateful that we have a facility that we can give to the community. I was, I was joking in the first service that I, don't, I think we might have a closet or two that aren't being used by the community because we just give all of our space to be used. And so the Gifford Youth Orchestra was here yesterday under the direction of Casey Lunsford, um, one of ours, and he's recently retired and he's taken over as the director. So we're grateful for that. Um, We just want to thank God so much for helping us reach our goals financially at the church as well as all the outreach. You know, since COVID and even with our Living the Vision campaign, it's a lot to, you know, give and it's a lot that we need for our church. But we are doing so much and we're so grateful and we're just thankful that God is helping us continue to be able to minister. And so during this time, we want to thank God for the Living the Vision campaign. You can see that we're already getting a lot of work done. We're on schedule with that, and it's such a blessing. And as we continue to move into Thanksgiving and into the end of the year, we just want to continue to give as much as we can to the ministries of the church. And over here to the right, we have our um, Giving Thanks Cornucopia, where during November, we always do a Thanksgiving offering where we pray about where God may want us to give. And we don't want to ask anybody to overgive. We're just asking everybody to pray and see what God would have you to do. And finally, I would love to ask for one more prayer request. If everybody will continue to lift John and Lisa's grandson, Ryan, up in prayer. If you don't remember, he's a three-year-old going through cancer treatments. He's had his bone marrow transplant, and the after effects are extremely, extremely difficult. And they've been through some very dark times and are in them now. So please continue to pray for their family and for little Ryan. But as always, our Thanksgiving prayer to God is thanking him for being faithful, and we praise him for his abundance gifts for our church. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for today, and we thank you for all of your blessings. And God, we're all sitting here today, some of us with heavy hearts and burdens, some of us wondering where we might get the money to pay for our rent or, or what kind of diagnosis we may get next week. And God, we come with so many heavy hearts. And God, sometimes we get so wrapped up in the day-to-day that we forget about that and we we complain about things or we um, talk about things that aren't as meaningful as your kingdom and, and the service that we have. So God, I just pray that you will humble us right now, that you will help us to take an inward look at ourselves and see where you would have us work in our own lives this week so that we can continue to be on mission and minister to those around us. We thank you for our church and for... Um, all of the saints that we have here, and I just pray that you will continue to help us to be on mission for you. Open our eyes and our ears and our hearts today to the message that you have for us, and please take us out this week with boldness to those around us. In your name, amen.